with family. Um, could you wait just a bit longer? Sure. Since we both have tomorrow off, let's go out for a family picnic, you said with a smile. I really like that smile. And noticing when we both have time off, that's my darling for you. I started putting together a picnic plan right away. I think I might actually be pretty good at things like packing and organizing. I've been told I'm amazing at it, but it never seemed like anything special. I've always just been able to tell what could fit where, what could go there. So I just put things where they look like they belong and somehow it all works out. Okie dokie. Tomorrow we'll go to the river, then hike up the mountain, and then have our picnic. How's that sound? Oh, great idea. I'm sure our kid will love it too. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. See, after my darling and I got married, we had a baby. They're still teeny tiny, but just as cute as their daddy. After I put our little one to bed, I'm going to look over the plan one more time. It's okay, you don't have to. He always says I don't have to do things I don't want to, but I do want to. I want both him and our child to have fun. And so, picnic day dawned. While I picked both the river and mountain for hiking, our child's still too little to do much. I want this to be fun, not exhausting. First, we went to the river. Since it's dangerous to get too close, we just took a break on the bank. Our child couldn't get enough of the rushing water. My darling had the biggest smile as he watched. I'm so glad I picked this place. Seeing them so happy made all the planning worth it. And it made me feel really happy too. I double checked our schedule. Time to move on. Shall we head for the mountain? We were barely on our way when I saw the clouds. Oh, drat. I can't believe I forgot to check the weather for today. I didn't want our picnic to get ruined by icky weather, so I picked up the pace. Just before the hiking trail was a little rest area. We had just passed it when big, fat drops of rain started to fall. We didn't want to get wet, so we ducked inside. I'm sorry, I forgot to check the weather ahead of time. It's okay, my darling said. I was the one who suggested a picnic without thinking. But if only I had remembered to check, then... While we were talking, the rain began to pour down in earnest. Oh dear! It looks like a proper shower. Though it won't last long, we won't have time for the mountain. I frowned at my darling, but he looked over at our child, sleeping against my side. What is it? He said their sleeping face looked just like mine. And with that, he flopped over on his side. Come on, he said. You lie down too. We'll all take a little nap together. Oh well. Since we won't get our hike, we might as well. It had been so long since we last went out as a family, I must have been overexcited. Down with our child next to my darling. We were like three logs in a row. As I got comfy, he leaned over and whispered, thanks, in my ear. For what, I asked. He said for planning our outing and for putting up with him, even though I'm the one who causes all the trouble. After that, we settled in and chatted. We talked about where he came from, venti, buttling, and about our future. We don't often get to talk like that, so it made me happy. It also made me really sleepy. I wanted to chat more, but I had stayed up late going over the plan for today. And my eyelids got heavier and heavier. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I fell asleep again, didn't I? When I woke, the rain had long passed and my darlings were playing together. Oh, morning. 
Good morning. He stopped what he was doing and looked over at me. Then he said, who had fun today? And our child said, oh, me, me, with their hand high in the air. Come on, let's take it easy. We'll go at our own pace. We'll go at our own pace, he said. We had lots of fun today. Hearing that made me glad I'd worked so hard on our plans for today. It never occurred to me that making other people happy could make me so happy too. Thanks for teaching me that even failures can be fun. Telling him that, I settled back down to continue my nap, a smile on my face. Florica!